someone sent me this in DMs, and I'm like, who, who is this person? Do, do you know? Like, I genuinely had to struggle to figure out who they are, uh, because nobody knows who they are. They're a Kotaku journalist. It wouldn't be surprising if her own colleagues don't know who she is. And, and this frustrates her greatly, because she wants people to think that she's a celebrity and click her articles and stuff, but, but like, nothing that she does, that no matter... How much she embarrasses herself in public on the internet, even saying that if she ever gets fired from Kotaku, she's going to go back to sex work. Like, I, I'm not making it up. Like, why would you share this with the public? You know, like, too much info. But, but like, she's doing her best. Look, she's trying in order to be antagonistic because I, I genuinely believe she desperately wants to be the Anita Sarkeesian or the Brianna Wu, you know, to have all of these mainstream media outlets like actually important people that that actually work in the industry and ask her it's like so how does it feel to be harassed and she would be like oh it is so difficult oh oh here's a link to my patreon while while i tell you how difficult it is and uh, here's a link to my articles and you can see just how horrible it is you know but but like nothing that she tries seems to work she she wrote a piece about gamergate uh of course not mentioning why people are upset that sweet baby it's just mysterious. Like, all of a sudden, you have all these woke consultancy groups. And, and it's just this particular one that got targeted. For no reason whatsoever. All of a sudden, out of the blue. It's not that one of their employees went out of their way in order to try to ruin a person. No, no. It's like it's gamers, they're unreasonable. You know, they, they act spon in spontaneous ways. Uh, so, so, like, she makes this article, <clears throat> despite the fact that it was on the subject, like, like with, with something very controversial and inflammatory, no one clicks on it, no one reads it. You even have, like, actual streamers, like Asmongold, and, you know, they're, they're talking about the article. It, it barely got a blip. It, it, it barely even registered. So then she goes around and she says, oh, I'm getting harassment. And I'm looking like, how are you getting harassment? All of your accounts are limited. Like, even if you had people that genuinely would want to, they couldn't. They couldn't, so, so why are you lying, you know? Um, and, and no one is supporting her. She gets upset that uh, Kotaku leadership actually says that, no, you have to talk about video games. And she's like, oh, my God, I, I can't talk about politics. Oh, I have to play video games. I mean, I know I work as a game job, but I have to play. Yeah. So in, in the last desperate attempt, in, in the last ditch effort, to be antagonistic, uh, she says that there's a story I've been simmering that I really want to pick up uh, again. If anyone has any connections to a prominent female Twitch streamer, gaming personality who leans very hard into Christianity and homophobia. So random, it's like Christianity and homo. What, what, what if they lean into Islam and homophobia? Can I contact you? Mm -hmm. uh, DM me or email link in bio. <coughs> I'm particularly interested in people who knew this person before their sharp rise to popularity. Uh, she's basically referring to Melanie Mack. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you're going after Melanie Mack. The, the thing is, this is why game journalists have the reputation that they have, right? Now imagine this, you have millions of people that have their entertainment, and they're going like, no, nope, you're not allowed. Like, this person needs to go back, uh, get off, like, they're, they're unacceptable. I decide that they're unacceptable. While, while I do sex work, I decide that... So, so basically the issue is, you're telling millions of people that they can't have their fun. You, you, one person, you're positioning yourself in front of millions of people. How do you think that works out? Again, it's, it's not about, like, Melody back and the fact that she doesn't have a platform. You're literally telling those people that they're not allowed to see... They're entertainer. They're not allowed to see their Barney the Dinosaur dancing because, oh my god, Barney the Dinosaur said something anti-Semitic. What, what, like Christ is King? Like, what did she say that, oh no, she used slurs. Oh, oh, the world is ending. Oh my god, my, my American pearls. I need to clutch them harder. How could she have said this? Oh, think of the children. Um, Interesting how it's not gay people that are complaining, right? I mean, is it? Like, like how many gay people were hurt while Melanie Mack used her vocal cords to vibrate in dangerous manner. Um, here's the thing, right? She wants this. Like, like, judging by her previous actions, judging by how she was behaving, she wants any type of attention. She is begging the internet, like, please notice me. Please notice me. She literally went to Hassan Piker, begging him in public to get on his stream. And I said this before, it's like, look, 
Hassan Piker is, is, is actually someone. Like, like, he actually gets views. Meanwhile, this person gets, like, what, three views? One is because she refreshed the page and the other one is from her mother. Uh, right? So, so it's so unprofessional to actually try to reach out to a streamer uh, in public. Like, like most professionals, they do it behind the scenes. So that when the streamer ignores you, you don't look like shit. But she doesn't have people. She doesn't have connections. She The only thing she has is the Kotaku brand. That's it. Um, and, and this thing that she does with Melanie Mack, extremely unprofessional as well. Incredibly so. Like, you're asking the community to do your work for you. you you're asking the community to do your research for you. And how much are you going to pay them? Probably jack shit. Even I don't do this. Even I don't go around. It's like, hey, guys, uh, <clears throat> I want to talk about this. Uh, can you please send me? No, I, I do my own legwork. It's part of the fucking job. Now, there are people that do send you stuff, which is fine. But like to, to beg like this in public. It's like, hey, please. Hey, what, what type of people are there going to, to approach her? Like, do you think there's people that are going to approach her and say, hey, yeah, you know, like Melody Mack is a really great person. Is she going to be interested in that? Because she seems to have already made up her mind. And of course, you know, the queen of harassment that's like, oh my god, you can't criticize a company because it's harassment. It's basically saying, yeah, I'm going to harass Melody Mack based on my own principles, right? I mean, writing an article after a, uh, a YouTuber, like, what, what do you think she wants? She just wants to criticize or, or does she not want Melody Mack to be the platform by YouTube? So so here you have it. It's like, yeah, it's bad faith. Did a tagger in it? Um, and and they're, they're basically now having this back and forth. Um... The, the best thing that can happen from this is if no one reads it, if no one interacts with it and, and allows her to experience more irrelevancy. This is the last ditch effort. So I do hope that actually no one harasses this Kotaku journalist. I, I genuinely hope that, that no one even reads the article or talks about it or, or anything like that. Um, the worst thing that Melanie could probably do is to read the article on her stream because then, you know, she might actually send five or ten people to... To read the article and, and give Kotaku another clip. Uh, no, th this is the last desperate attempts of a dying publication. No one is reading it. No one cares about it. And, and, and the reason is precisely due to this. Right? Like, precisely due to this type of behavior. Like, notice with Sweet Baby. No one cares. I mean, you know, people were upset that the games are becoming woke and they stopped buying them. Which is why you see many AAA companies fighting people and stuff. It's understandable. However, that's not what ticked people off. What ticked people off is when, when you have a grift and you're already making millions of dollars and, and you think that it's a good idea to, on top of the grift, go around and uh, try to harass other people that are weaker than you because your ideology says, no, actually, actually, everyone is stronger than me. So because I'm weak, I get to behave like an asshole in public and I get to do whatever I want and I get to behave like a spoiled child on the internet. Because I am weak, everyone else is strong. But the reality isn't like that. You're a millionaire, other people aren't. You know, you're an American, you, you already have more power than the rest of the world. What, what are we talking about? Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.